put on a springy top for this video and I just looked outside and it's snowing! Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is my third update for the Partners in Cream project pan. This project was created by Dylan and Steph and so far I think 70 people have joined either on YouTube or on Instagram. I'll have the playlist and the creators in the description box. I'm focusing on five products right now and it is a rolling project pan where once I finish something up I can roll something new in and they're all cream products. That's the only thing is they can't be powder products. It's the only rule. I don't have any empties this month but I do have some good progress to share so let's get started with that. I'll start with my SPF product. I'm trying to have at least one SPF product in this project as we go. I used up the Too Faced SPF product last month so I rolled this one in and if you can look at the markings on the packaging, I started up here and now I'm about halfway through the packaging. I don't know if I can finish this next month but maybe the month after that because this is technically SPF 50. It doesn't say it on the packaging because of US regulations but it is SPF 50. I've been using lower SPF products when I know I'm not leaving the house at all. Still using SPF every day like I want to, like I'm trying to motivate myself to do, but I don't need to burn through this just because I can. So whenever I just plan on being inside for most of the day, I use the Pure Rescue Squad DD Cream. This is SPF 25, still a good SPF. I use a very liberal amount on my face, neck, and chest, just like I do with the SPF 51 but I'd rather use this on days when I'm not really leaving the house that much. And then when I know I'm gonna go for a walk or you know do something like that, I'll use the SPF 50. So that one will either be done next month or the month after that. Now for my cream cheek products, I wanna start with my blush. I have a Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Bubbly. It's a really pretty purpley pink. And I mix this with other cheek products to create a more natural looking blush shade for my skin tone, but I do really enjoy using it. I use it pretty much every day. I wear makeup. I have used a pretty similar amount this month compared to the previous two months. I think this one is going to be a bit slow going, but it is getting a little bit thinner every update, so that is exciting progress. The next one is a liquid highlighter. I use this to mix in with foundations. I don't use it on my cheeks that often because I don't love the texture of it. It's a little bit liquidy, but still sticky, and I don't feel like it works with the other stuff that I put on my cheeks. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Halo Goodbye. And if you can look at the markings on the side, I was up here last month and now this month I am down to here using a pretty sizable amount every month. I think this is gonna take about three more months of continuous use to finish. And my last cheek product is from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. And this is a highlighter. If you can see, I'm starting to dig a little hole out of the side here. I was just using it with like a beauty blender or a stipple brush to kind of put on my cheekbones. And I do really like it for that, but I find that the formula is so malleable, so squishy, that I have trouble doing that without like breaking off pieces that go over the sides. I don't know. I don't love the packaging or the you know, cream type of formula. I don't think I'll buy any more of these after I finish this one up. So what I have been doing recently is taking the end of a makeup brush, scooping out just a tiny bit, and then mixing it in with my cream blush and putting it on like that. I think it's really pretty. That's what I did today. But of course I put another powder highlighter on top. I think I can use it up that way. It makes it a lot easier for me to use, and I'm still very confident that I'll be able to finish this before it dries up or expires. And the last one is the one I'm kind of the least excited about, and it is a liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Crush. My goal is to use this 25 times, and then once I do that, I'll roll in a new liquid lipstick to reach for 25 times. And I've only used this 16 times so far, only two times in the past month. So I need to get on that. Hopefully I can use it, what, nine more times before next month. It's easy to do. I'm wearing it today. It's a really pretty just nude pinky shade. Really great for this time of year. So hopefully I can get on it, remember to use this more, and be able to roll in a new liquid lipstick next month. So those are my Partners in Cream products that I wanted to talk about today. I think I'm making good progress, but with cream products, they just take me longer to show any actual progress. So this is definitely a more long-term project. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I will have everyone linked in the description box and a playlist of all the updates that we have so far. And of course, it's never too late to join. If you are interested in joining this project, I will have like a Google Docs spreadsheet that I will link in the description box for you to join. 
very easy to do so and you can stop and start whenever you want. The rules are very flexible. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.